Okay, I would say one more embellishment video for the month, but I can't guarantee you that. <laughs> so again, we're here with our cookie sheet with a Teflon um, mat cut to fit inside of it. I'm just gonna do that because it's a little dirty. Um, and how many of us have these in our stash of stuff that we haven't used in like a million years? Stickles, glitter glue. If they're not dried up, let's use them up um, or pass them along. That's my big tip for you. So, like with the hot glue embellishments or even the resin embellishments, it's, you know, not hard. Take your bottle of stickles and just doodle some shapes onto a non-stick craft mat. They could be simple shapes. They could be complicated shapes. If you hear that noise, that's the garage door, sorry. I'm trying to film and there's a lot of background noise but anyways so the idea is to take your glitter glue whatever color or brand that you have I happen to have a bunch of stickles still and just make some glue shapes scribbly shapes scribbly borders you can cut them if they're too big later on if you're using them on a tag or an ATC um, when you're going to store them because I'll just make a bunch of these ahead of time and then store them until I use them. You're going to want to store them in wax paper between wax, uh, layers of wax paper or uh, plastic sheet protector plastic or something like that. Um, I'm remembering why I don't like using stickles. <laughs> so anyway. anyway, just make some shapes. Uh, make something that you can use later. You can peel it off of the plastic you've stored it in or the um, purple might be nice or the wax paper and you can glue it onto your pages your ATC's your tags or something like that I mean let's use up the products that we have in our whoa well alright let's use up the products that we have in our stashes and um, you know make our own embellishments not everything has to be purchased from the store yes it's nice if you can do that but you don't have to. Okay. Let's do one more. Now there's a lot of glue on these, so they're going to take a while to dry. That's okay. That's one, another reason for me to do them on a cookie sheet like this, because I can just take them and I can put them to the side. This one seems like it has issues. I can put them to the side and I can just let it dry while I'm working on other things. I have drying racks on either end of the table. There we go. I have drying racks on either end of the table, so. So just make make yourself some own your of your own homemade embellishments. These are the ones that we did out of hot glue. Same kind of shapes, yeah. You can use them in any kind of collage piece, a, cam, a collage board, a three dimensional piece, maybe something like Patty Tolly Parish does. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her channel below. Um, a tag, a coin, a paper clip, an ATC card, you can use them anywhere, but let's make our own embellishments and see where we can go with that. If you have ideas for your own homemade embellishments, I sure would love to hear them. Leave a link or a comment in the comments below. If you um, have access to one of my social medias or Facebook groups, you can DM me over there and let me know uh, if you want to know what all of those links are or the places you can support the free content here on YouTube or over in face the Facebook groups. Click on the link tree list of links in the description below. And um, down there you'll also find my happy mail address and a bunch of other stuff. So check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, besides use up what you have, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.